Ugh. Okay. Oh no, West of Loathing has DLC? Apparently. Oh wait, okay, I was gonna ask if you were gonna stream. Yeah, <clears throat> I've, got, I've got the screen share on. Thank you. Yeah, that you way we're, we're in sync. Yep. Yeah. Or Backstreet Boys, depending on how. <laughs> So, West of Loathing, what is this game? I've heard bits and pieces of it. Um, I played a little bit of it. So, um, I'll just run down the quick details of what it is. It's an RPG stick figure game, and it's known for having hilarious dialogue. I've seen Markiplier play it. I was told it's very hilarious. Um, we're not going to be hitting continue on this one because um, we need to start a new game. Logic, I'm pretty sure you know a little bit more details than I do. So I'm going to go ahead yeah. and get started on a new game right now. Let's do it. Can we name the main character Jimmy? No. Uh, let's... Oh, it's a little shooting game here. Fun. Wait, is this choosing your starting currency? I think so. Right now, I'm scoring a bunch of meat? <laughs> no, literally. Meat. Ten, ten, oh, I think meat. that's the game's currency. Oh. Well, I got 10 pounds of chicken. Will that give me a car? I. <coughs> I don't know. 10 pounds of chicken is not a lot of chicken. <laughs> but it's enough chicken to fill my belly. Yes. Yeah. How about a hundred pounds? Okay, so, um... I think this is just gonna keep looping. Bit. Um, yeah, what are the... Keep looping, yeah. ...poise at the top, perhaps if you click them? What are you trying to do? Um... I'm trying to find out how Golden does things. I see some things at the top here. What else am I shoot the dice? Dick Thompson. Those are the prizes. Oh, it's a randomizer. That's where. Okay. <sighs> and this goes for just female characters. Etta Mayfield. Kit Cody. Bear Bowie. <laughs> Bird Watson. Leon Cody. That would have been Shoot hilarious. the cat again. Hold on. I'm sorry? I want, to see if it gives, I want to see if you hit the cat again. It gives you a different, like, feline type name. Or if it's Garfield Littlefield? Little yeah, it does. <laughs> Fuck it. We're Garfield Littlefield now. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of the field field thing at the end. Okay. Edna <laughs> Edna Barth. That's, that's such a weird name. Oh Barth. He was terrifying. I mean at least the female has more de uh, like detail. Huh. Okay, I guess we're Edna. You guys find that? I'm, I'm curious what happens if you hit the cat again, but stick with the uh, Edna Barth if you want. Change your character. Didn't do shit. Okay, let, let's go. Let, let's click play. Yeah. Because All we're going right, to be here forever if we yeah, don't. Yeah, that is true. Yeah! Play as Edna Barth. Yes. I'm going to really <laughs> piss off Bliss if she's in the call. Alright. Why? I, so, uh... I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. Cow puncher. Bean slinger. Snake oiler. Okay, so it's basically strength, dexterity, or sneak. Alright. Are you a warrior, or a mage, or a... Yeah. Gunner, I guess? Hmm. Okay, so Cow Puncher sounds like it's more strength-based. Yes. Hmm. Bean Slinger is, is magic. Magic in the West? Looks Remember like. what you're playing. Like, like, I'm looking. Um, and Snake Oiler. So I'm guessing... Snake Oiler is like... That noise? And then he gets rise up. Cause oh, man. Are. Yeah. You may want to mute, we can hear all the racket. Oh, uh, okay. You're good. If that, yeah, if there's gonna be a lot of background noise. Yeah. Uh, let's put it to a vote because there's enough. 
the screen just to summon wind. Uh, you know, let's go ahead and do that. Cow puncher, okay, so I'm... Swinger, go ahead. I'm gonna vote Cow Puncher. I'm gonna let the audience vote. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Okay. I mean, I can... Uh, I can, I could kind of agree with the logic. You can never have enough strength. I agree, but mostly because strength is usually the uh, characteristic that lets you carry more stuff. <coughs> okay, so so far we have three votes for Cow Puncher. Yeah, I see one from a Kutcher guy, the Ninja Reviewer. Uh, Desert Samurai said Cow Puncher. Uh, no lasagna. Sorry, Spinola. Well, I mean, I also. All right. I also, I also vote Cow Puncher. So. All right, there you go. <laughs> Yep, nice cow, cow, puncher puncher is. Right. <laughs> cow punchers solve their problems with their fists, whether it's shaking them at a disagreeable feller uh, in a disreputable saloon or using them to punch a slightly more disagreeable feller in a slightly less reputable saloon. You've heard the cow punchers are in demand out west since the cows can come came home, which starts to uh, starts to reason. The cows aren't going to punch themselves after all. I, I guess we're a cow puncher. Yep. What do the cows ever do to us? <laughs> Apparently they came home and that's a problem. Okay, before you do anything else. Uh-huh. Uh, you see that bookshelf? Yes. Uh, okay, click it. You read the spine of one of your books. The Treasure of the Rattlesnake Graveyard. That's one of my favorites. Oh. Okay. And again. Just keep going, trust me. Okay, The Secret of the Haunted Mine, Adventure at Vampire Lighthouse, The Curse of the Cabot Graveyard, The Treasure mm -hmm. of the Cursed Cabin. I read that one ten times. The Adventure at Spooky Cave. Hmm. <coughs> Walking Oh, you got a new one. Okay, now go to your inventory. <coughs> uh... You read the book uh, from cover to cover, learn how to... Walk really stupidly. This has been added to your options menu. You got a perk. Nice. Stupid walking. You accidentally drop the book and then ruin it by stepping on it 30 times while you're trying to pick <laughs> it up. Okay, now go to your options menu at your earliest convenience. <laughs> oh, um. And turn on stupid walking. It's on already. Oh. Okay, now just... There we go. What the <laughs> hell? Congratulations, you have now made the game ten times funnier. So, she's <laughs> crawling, but swimming. It, it, it gets better, trust me. Okay. Yep, there it is. Oh. <laughs> this is from the Your walk cycle changes walk. every time you stop for a moment. <laughs> oh, it just randomly changes. Okay, now we can continue. I just needed to make sure you got that. Sure. <laughs> Goodbye, phonograph. You pulled the needle away from the cylinder <coughs> and stow the handle away. Goodbye, desk. Oh, coming here. <laughs> I got I experience like how, points from that. I like how you're saying goodbye to everything in your room. Hey, Russell, mm. how you doing? Oh! I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Come Wait, come should come. we should we do the thing where like some of us to voice different characters? Oh gosh. <laughs> well, sure. I actually because oh. I'm a female character. Do you do some of you actually want to um like maybe voice uh I forgot what her name was. Edna. Edna. Who wants I to voice do Edna? Does can do okay. it. <laughs> You grab a cricket uh, from a cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He co uh, coos yes. appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Uh huh. Hmm. So how do you how do you free him? You can't. He is a pet. You do. Right. All right. Oh, I, wait. He's gone. Ooh. Yep. Oh. Okay. Okay, time to head to West and chase my real dreams. Dusk is supposed to be at noon. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was sure if you wanted me to read like every. Oh, my bad, my bad. I'm no being problem. a little fast, so. It's okay. You're good. Your living room. You're gonna miss mom's cooking. It's mom's pie safe. It keeps all her pies safe. 
Yes. <laughs> You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. An investigation of the laws of thought on which are founded the mathematical theories of logic and probabilities. No wonders I never know what he's talking about. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Fuck. Solucio problematis ad geonamium citos permanentes. Just the title page gives me a headache. What a ah! fish. <laughs> Um, Obadai Ansal der Primhazalhen unter eine Gegebenen Große. None of it makes a lick of sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> An investigation? I think we did this one already. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Before Mathematique d'Avirance Galois. I think this is about math, maybe? Sounds like French. <laughs> it is French. You have a very smooth tongue to, like, pronounce all that. Thank you. She is also French-Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. You got your puzzle cube. Puzzle cube! What's at Sorry. the desk? So tidy. No, you're good. It's covered with all of his weird diagrams and charts. Um, My brother yeah. is a scientist. I am a cowpuncher. <laughs> Hello. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, Mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yeah. It's the book you wanted for Crimbo. I know it's early, but... The one about picking locks? Oh, boy. The one about desert survival? Oh, boy. The one about bartering? Oh, boy. Oh, this is how you allocate your skills. That's pretty, pretty smart. Hmm. I think it's good to know about desert survival. Okay, so how do we want to go about this? Do we want to... Hmm. Hmm. I mean, if you want to go for desert survival, you can. Sure. That's the one. Enjoy it. Please forgive for out there. Write us a letter when you can. Cheers I will, you. Mom. Goodbye. <laughs> your dad's there also, I think. Or your brother. <laughs> no time, no to, time to screw around in the woods. Time to head west. Hello, Ghetto. Your father, Moros. Morosely, oh, no. sadly. That hat doesn't fit you, Dad. I'll grow I'll into it. <laughs> I'll grow into it. <laughs> oh. It's time for me to leave. Last but the loathing stream? I don't know what you're talking about. Listen. Listen, I want you to, I want you, I <laughs> want you to have this. Okay. <clears throat> Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's brass knuckles. Damn. Just <laughs> granny. Yeah, granny kicked some ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Good. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. <laughs> Dusk? Huh? Oh, I did. <laughs> goodbye, Dad. <laughs> Sorry. Now that must be the nerd. Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at lurking nervous. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Hey, Rufus. Time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. I can't do the voice. <laughs> I was trying to do a fucking... I was trying to do the turtle from... I was trying to do the turtle from Sly Cooper. Huh. That, that's a death ray. I can't do it. <laughs> to help people to seek my fortune or to get off this stupid farm. Okay, are we altruistic, capitalist, or mean? Um, boy, I don't know. To seek my fortune. <laughs> okay, du okay, Dusk, I want you to get into the mind of Edna. What do you think Edna's after? I think to get off this stupid farm because she was already mean to, to her dad. Oh. <laughs> but to seek my fortune would also work. Mm. Let's try this one. 
I don't know enough of the socioeconomic issues of the land to know if you were going to help people. Ah. Rufus, you know how much I hate it here. I can't stay. I've got to go where the action is. But, if the but it's so dangerous. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year. And that statistic is from before the cows came home. I'll be okay. Oh. <laughs> you worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so. I, think, I still think you'll be dead by Grimbo. We're a very optimistic brother. <laughs> Like, oh, I think you'll be dead. You're fine. <laughs> I'll miss you, Rufus. Well, die. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> Why you yeah. punch me? I like how you're like, I'll miss you. And then he's like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Why you, you punch die. me? I think you dislocated something. Oh, <laughs> oh, a needle you found a needle in the haystack. <clears throat> nice. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, found everything I'm looking for. Go west, young woman? Sure. Yeah. West of Luthien. Director, Jack, Zach Johnson. <laughs> do, 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 do. That's skull. Right. Victor Thompson. Kevin Simmons. Oh my god, I just, guys, I just realized. What? Hmm. Can... <clears throat> hey, you. You're finally awake. <laughs> You're trying to go west of loathing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Chris Moyer. Are you are you riding a cart full of radishes? Looks like. Huh. Two hundred miles what? later. <laughs> oh god. That's <laughs> Oof. Uh, <it's laughs> well, the bad news is you fell off the chart and got knocked out for a couple uh, of hours. Now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is is that you're in a town rather than a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. Boring springs. Get turnip. A turnip. Uh, you need some help there? Oh. Excuse me, lady. Wait. <laughs> oh, ew. Is that what I think it is? No. Uh, maybe. Uh, <laughs> gone, gone drinking. drinking. And there's the sheriff. Sheriff. Trading. David, 80s, please, no spoilers.